Deep beneath the Arctic ice, a remarkable discovery has been made that challenges our understanding of life in extreme conditions. A new study, unveiled by Elon Musk, has revealed something that was previously thought impossible to exist in such cold, nutrient-deficient depths. Until now, the prevailing belief was that the underwater environment below the Antarctic ice was poor and unsuitable for life. However, the new study has overturned this assumption, challenging our understanding about the limits of life's adaptability, and also raising questions about the existence of life in other extreme environments, both on Earth and beyond. So what exactly is this discovery? Stay tuned to find out! Before we dive into this video, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest content. When an Australian submarine embarked on a journey beneath the icy layers in 1958, it marked a significant milestone as the first craft of its kind to reach the North Pole. This pioneering expedition not only opened up new avenues for scientific exploration, but also demonstrated the potential of submarines for strategic purposes. Today, modern nuclear submarines, equipped with advanced weaponry and capable of extended missions, carry on this legacy of exploration and strategic deterrence, as exemplified by the UK's continuous presence in the region since 1969. The mission in 1958 highlighted the dual scientific and military capabilities of nuclear-powered submarines, showcasing their ability to navigate the intricate and often hidden landscapes of the Arctic. Through these expeditions, the Navy and scientific community have gained invaluable insights into the Arctic Ocean and its challenging conditions, offering a deeper understanding of the region's ecology. Similarly, Antarctica, with its extreme cold and enigmatic mysteries, holds the promise of countless undiscovered anomalies beneath its icy surface and vast oceans. Despite the harsh conditions, dedicated researchers like geologist James Smith persevered, enduring months of isolation to unravel the secrets of this remote continent. Smith's mission was to retrieve seafloor sediment trapped beneath half a mile of ice, crucial for unraveling the history of the floating shelf. However, the scientific endeavor proved challenging. Smith's team melted 20 tons of snow to obtain 20,000 liters of hot water, which they then used to bore through the ice. This laborious process took nearly 20 hours before the real work began. A GoPro camera was lowered into the freezing water, descending 3,000 feet below the surface. However, their sediment collector initially malfunctioned. Later video footage unveiled a mysterious object obstructing the sediment capture. Surprisingly, amidst the barren seafloor, the team stumbled upon life flourishing around a solitary boulder, an unexpected discovery given the scarcity of such debris in the area. Smith had inadvertently drilled into an unexpected site of biological activity, leading to an intriguing discovery. His colleague, Hugh Griffiths, identified a microbial mat on the rock, hinting at a vibrant micro-ecosystem thriving in the depths. Among the various life forms found were cylindrical sponges and other marine animals, suggesting a rich yet isolated habitat far from any known food sources, with the nearest open ocean edge located 160 miles away. These unique conditions support an ecosystem sustained by currents and occasional sunlight, challenging existing theories about life under ice shelves. Traditionally, it was believed that only mobile scavengers inhabited these realms. However, recent discoveries have revealed that even filter feeders can thrive here. These organisms, accustomed to darkness, bear resemblance to deep sea creatures that rely on marine snow for sustenance, illustrating a complex food web that supports the vast Antarctic marine life. Despite being beneath a mile of ice, these Antarctic creatures managed to survive on a stationary rock far from the typical marine snow supply found beneath the ocean's bustling life. Researchers speculate that an unusual horizontal drift of organic material may feed these organisms, with currents possibly transporting sustenance from distances of up to 930 kilometers away, sustaining life in this remote and unlikely habitat. This notion challenges conventional understanding, as marine snow typically needs to descend seven miles to reach the deepest ocean floors. However, the idea that food might travel laterally across distances 133 times greater to support Antarctic marine life is indeed plausible. Rich Mui, an expert in Antarctic sea life, highlights the critical role of Antarctic seawater in influencing global currents, as it becomes denser and sinks. This dynamic process suggests that organic matter can travel vast distances, supporting life in these remote ecosystems. 
This discovery opens up the possibility that boulder-dwelling life forms could receive nutrients through currents, potentially welcoming new species into the ecosystem. However, due to the lack of direct samples, the exact diet of these organisms remains unknown, with some sponges speculated to be carnivorous, while others may filter feed. Christopher Ma emphasizes the intrigue surrounding carnivorous sponges thriving in such harsh conditions. The absence of visible predators like fish in the footage raises questions about the ecosystem's dynamics and whether these stationary creatures share or compete for resources. A future expedition holds promise in shedding light on whether mobile organisms contribute to the food supply of the stationary animals on the boulder. Despite the potential for sedimentation, the location appears optimal for survival, with ample food and no apparent predators. The presence of ripples suggests that currents play a vital role in delivering food to these immobile creatures. Yet, the origin of these animals remains shrouded in mystery, raising questions about their dispersal mechanisms, possibly involving long-distance transport by currents from areas with more typical marine ecosystems. Griffiths and his team find themselves unable to determine the age of these creatures without actual samples. The remarkable longevity of Antarctic sponges suggests that these ecosystems could be ancient, with currents potentially introducing new species over time. The enigmatic nature of such ecosystems beneath the ice and their prevalence across the Antarctic remains largely unknown. Despite exploring only a small area, this discovery hints at potentially widespread undiscovered ecosystems hidden beneath the Antarctic ice. The groundbreaking discovery beneath an ice shelf has unveiled a unique boulder community, challenging prior theories about life's resilience in extreme cold. This ecosystem, possibly situated 1,500 kilometers from the closest photosynthetic activity, remains largely mysterious until further samples can be obtained. Additionally, researchers utilizing a large hot water drill have uncovered yet another unprecedented ecosystem beneath the Larsen ice shelf, situated in a chamber 500 meters below the ice. The urgency to closely study these ecosystems and their inhabitants is paramount, given the looming threat of global warming. Unique ecosystems under half a mile of ice face imminent danger from the warming climate, with potential ice shelf collapses posing a significant threat to their existence. Notably, the Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica, also known as the Doomsday Glacier, is precariously anchored to the seafloor, with its separation potentially accelerating due to rapid melting and fast retreat phases. Recent seafloor mappings around the glacier have unveiled grooves left behind by its movement, suggesting past periods of rapid melting. Scientists cautioned that the effects of climate change could trigger similar melting patterns, emphasizing the pressing need to address the impacts of global warming. And there you have it! What do you think about these discoveries? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have yet to do so. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well if you don't want to miss out on our upcoming videos.